Hello everyone, MJT360 back at you again with another video. Today we're going to be working on this DeWalt DW831 5 inch angle grinder. Now you might be wondering, MJT360, that doesn't look like a grinder that you used to own. Like that doesn't look like any of the ones that you've showed us. This one I bought off of eBay as a parts or non working machine because, um, that's why. It makes bad grinding noises, and when we take it apart, I'll show you why. Uh, basically, this thing said, the guy said it's got grinding noises coming from the gearbox. Now, I've already taken this apart, and I already know what's going on with it, so um, let's get to it. Um, what you're going to need to do this repair is you're going to need some gloves for the new parts, because if it's, both well, mines are used, so they're going to be greasy, so you might not need those. Safety glasses, I'm going to need earplugs when I fire this thing up at the end to make sure it works. Um, you don't need this many flathead and Phillips heads, in fact you don't even need the Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to need it if you want to take the whole thing apart to fix any parts that are broken. Um, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver um, to take a flathead or a star head. I don't know what star head size it is, but um, you need a star head screwdriver to remove the four screws that hold this gearbox in place. I've, done, I've already removed three of them just to make it easier so we're not wasting so much time on the video while doing that. So, um, yeah. This thing needs a new gear, and um, the problem with this is this is a DW831. Yeah, this is a DeWalt DW831, and the problem is, is that this part right here for a Type 5 grinder, which this is a Type 5, um, they have all different type numbers. This gear, this piece here, they don't sell replacement parts for. It. It's obsolete. When you buy the spindle, you have to buy the shaft, the gear, the bearings, and every, and the metal piece, all as one piece. And it was obsolete, so I went on eBay, everything bought at the yard sale, and I bought a new, um, bought a new part for it. Um, so yeah, uh, also I'm going to use white lithium grease because, um, basically the grease that you need from the factory is, um, you can only buy it in one gallon container, and it's like 300 to 400 dollars, which is ridiculous. I'm not spending that much for a grinder that's only worth about 200 dollars. So, um, new, new these go for 200 the Indian one, this is the American plug, the Indian one is the, the Indian version goes for 230 which has a different plug, it's 220 volts instead of 110, but other than that, let's get back to this. So you're going to grab a screwdriver, and you're going to remove the four, remove the four screws that hold the gear case on, the gear, um, spindle assembly on. And then this comes right off. And now, as you can see, also, um, when I got this grinder, um, it came with no gear lube in the gear case. And what that caused it to do is this. Yep, it caused that to do that, to strip off a bunch of teeth, and it also ground down the gear to make it thinner so it doesn't connect any well. You can see there's a whole bunch of missing teeth on the gear. I'm like, that's really, really, that's really bad. That's not good because then it makes grinding sounds and then also the bearing. Bearing seems fine, but it's really dry. I just noticed when really I spin it, it's fine, it spins fine, but uh, it's got no gear loop in it. And I'll show you. Don't, I did not do this for the video. I did not do this for the video by removing all the gear lube out of the gear case, because I will show you. This is what it came like when I pulled out the, um, when I pulled out the, the thing when I first got it and disassembled it to see what was wrong. Notice something wrong with this picture? There's no gear lube in there. There's supposed to be grease in there. And from the factory, it came without gear lube. Like, are you kidding me, DeWalt? Come on, you cheap out on some of the most important parts. So here we go. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to eBay now. Everything bought at yard sale, favorite place ever. Don't need that. We do need this, and then for about well, this came all the way from Canada, so um, that's one thing to note. It came all the way from Canada, which is very far away. I'm in the U.S. If you didn't know, I'm not gonna tell you where, but I am in the U.S. And this came from Canada, one state, oh one. A little bit away from me, so yeah. I'm nowhere near Canada, by the way. And shipping took about three weeks to get here for this one part that I needed. 
I'm not complaining about it, I'm just saying it's a little bit annoying how long it took, but, um, yeah, uh, this is what the gear is supposed to look like. On the, um, this one is the new one, this is the old one. You see what the difference is? One isn't, one's missing a bunch of teeth, and the other one is got all the teeth left, and it's also covered in grease, as you can see. You can see the grease around the bottom, right there. Like, right there, or on the bottom, on the bottom. On the bottom, yeah. You can also see it on the inside of the gear, where this one is nice. See how that one's, like, silver color, where this one's black? That's because that one's been in grease its entire life, and this one hasn't. Because grease dyes the gear a different color. So now we're going to take this. And also, this one's pretty nice, because the guy that I got this from, he gave it to me with, um, with the two freaking flanges. See the two flanges? Right there and there. If I take, if I grab this. Number one flange, and... I guess the second flange doesn't come off, does it? It does come off, yeah. See, he gave me the two flanges that I needed to, com to complete this project. Two flanges, which are very helpful. Thank you. I needed those. So now we're going to take this and we're going to actually, um, I don't think I'm going to clean it. I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. Bearing is fine. Bearing spins perfectly fine. There's no play. There's a little bit of play, but it's a little bit, but not very bad. Not, not bad at all. Um, so now we're going to take this. This is white lithium grease. I don't know if this is the proper grease to be using, but um, someone recommended it to me. So one of the tool techs at Home Depot recommended I use that. So I'm going to try it. Now I'll be right back because I need to grab a pair of scissors before someone's going to cut it open with. So I got a caulking gun, I got a caulking gun here, and this has got a, I think some of these caulking guns, which this one, shoot, this one doesn't come with that feature. Um, got a saw blade, because that's all I can find right now. Um, we're going to just, So now I got it open. So now you're going to line up, it says on this, it says front. I'm going to line the front up with the front of the machine. I'm going to set it in there. I'm going to spin it. There we go. That's got enough grease on it now. It'll last a while. And now I'm going to grab my four screws and I'm going to drop them in their holes and Screw them in place. If you want to use Loctite, if you want to use Loctite, you totally can. I'm not going to because these haven't come out yet on me. Or they haven't come out yet at all on anyone, me or the previous owner. Because I did not buy this new. I bought this used on eBay as parts are not working. So now it's going to.
So yeah, I'm only going to put these two screws in for now just because um, or this video is getting pretty long. But um, that's how you replace the spindle in a DeWalt DW831 grinder. This is going to be my new grinder for grinding um, with a flat disc or a grinding wheel because it's got a back trigger. It's got a trigger handle, which I actually like better than the slide switch angle grinders. This is also a 12 amp grinder, I believe. Um, yes, it is. It's a 12 amp, I believe. Yes. Yep, it's a 12 amp grinder, so it's going to have a lot of freaking power. And um, I like that feature. So um, please like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you have to do to get this video out to people. And have a great rest of your day and stay safe.